Hello and welcome back. The most important component is security. Security is all over. So in every component in the I mean, uh, service or module available in the whole system design, I really need a security, some, some kind of security, right? So security is a strategy pull off to protect the resources connected to the corporate network, right? So each resource when connected to or from remote creates a potential entry for security threat, right? While enterprises embracing a new technologies to meet uh, business demands has opened doors to, uh, to cyber attacks or uh, security compromises. So if you see in the uh, in the screenshot itself, here are some e examples of how the security plays crucial roles in different places and different situations and environments to provide utmost uh, shield to the system. So if if we think of like if this is a whole uh, a whole uh, system design landscape and this is the whole uh, infrastructure we have, then when the any user you know uh, try to access to the system through the internet, uh, it comes to the uh, DNS and applies the security over here, right? And then it's try to you know connect to the gateway and there is a security uh, you know applied and when that request come from you know um, uh, moves from the uh, 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 application gateway to the actual uh, you know uh, applications it might be a web application or the app server or any any other applications or load balancer any kind of other components uh, available for the front end uh, execution so so in between that also there is a security applied that's called uh, nsc right and when when any request uh, you know goes through the um, web app to the actual backend service or the middleware service so there also the security can be applied so in every layer wherever the layer we are able to you know uh, we have uh, we have been putting the load balancer we have been putting that uh, and those kind of you know uh, components to really uh, make the whole product performant so in those places we can also provide the and you know implement the security system altogether to uh, to make the whole system completely secure right so that's where the whole i mean uh, how the security comes into play and and how it's really gives the benefit out there to uh, to the whole uh, outside world as we know the security is all over there are different areas where the se uh, security always come past uh, the, the uh, network security, cloud security, uh, mobile security, uh, IoT, app security. Whenever you are, uh, you know, uploading any apps or building any applications, so there also the security comes into picture. And data side of the house, and when when it comes to the computing, and nowadays uh, we have a different kind of application execution. Like, so one is the storage and compute. When any application running on the compute side of the house, it's try to access the data from the storage, right? It might the internal or external storage uh, so that need to be in that place the security also need to be uh, considered correct otherwise there might be a security breach in the case of uh, transitioning the data between the storage and the competition correct and the competition label itself also there might be some other factors which really compromises the privacy of data there are multiple ways uh, where the i mean uh, policies can be created and enforced so to ensure the maximum security, uh, here are the some of the policies can be ensured. Uh, one is the user application, user or application with control operations, right? So and the other one is the applying the uh, you know, confidentiality and integrity and the availability of the system, uh, and applying the authentication, uh, authentication, uh, you know, uh, uh, service where uh, where it tells like who actually can uh, see what what kind of resources right and the authorization who can modify or invoke the data correct and once these policies can be you know ensured like how how those can be enforced right so creating policies cannot be just i mean enough uh, on unless it's enforced to the for the system so that can be enforced by passing or blocking some of the traffic or all of the traffic to the system or enforcing some mechanism uh, like you know accepting or declaring some of the request uh, according to the 
uh, HTTP headers or according to some of the some of the other criteria uh, if if that uh, doesn't meet to the policy and permitting or shutting down the executables there might be some malicious ex executables coming into the system where that might create lots of you know security threat and whatever the policy defines that need to be enforced by either permit the executable or maybe need to be shut down or just kill it right uh, and the other one is the encrypt traffic or data whenever the traffic comes in the system or going out of the system so the encryption need to be applied to the uh, complete traffic so that it cannot be deciphered in the uh, middle of the transition correct and the data also need to be encrypted so that the data security will be always enforced and the isolate uh, users or applications so what does that mean is like okay so so user whenever any user you are i mean uh, any user trying to access to the system so it uh, the user need to be uh, you know need need to be segregated uh, properly and need to be uh, need to be control over all the resources uh, it's available in the um, uh, in the uh, uh, system landscape right so even it may be a human uh, you know uh, human to machine or maybe machine to machine interaction but they have to be isolated from each other to ensure utmost security and there 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 might be some other uh, others as well but yeah these are the most important you know uh, policies and enforcements can be taken into consideration for the security there are lots and lots of tools and uh, services uh, you know available in the marketplace and if we'll just talk about i mean some of the example from the aws cloud provider so there are three types of securities can be implemented uh, throughout the uh, uh, throughout the you know, system design right so one is the identity and access management right so which really talks about the uh, there are actually uh, you know uh, i mean uh, uh, segregated in three categories right so one is uh, identity protection so other one would be the infrastructure protection and uh, and the third one would, uh, is the uh, data protection correct so and if we think of aws cloud there are a bunch of uh, security services uh, available for uh, different uh, use cases like if you talk about the how can we you know enforce or implement the uh, you know identity uh, protection so uh, for that uh, so there is a managed service called identity and access manager right the iam uh, service managed service so who is being provided i mean through multiple uh, services that's called aws cognito uh, aws single sign on uh, aws uh, you know directory service and uh, resource access manager and for the infrastructure protection some services which is available for aws shield aws firewall manager aws web app uh, firewalls uh, those kind of services and for data protection we see like uh, like amazon uh, messy right and uh, and uh, amazon key management service that kms and the uh, amazon uh, amazon cloud uh, hsm so that's really you know uh, really more over related to the you know hardware security module and uh, and the other one is the certificate manager model right so those are the uh, those are the i mean uh, tools and services really provided by one of the uh, you know big player in the uh, in this cloud game uh, the aws so so this is just example and the similar kind of also services available in the uh, in our uh, uh, Google Cloud as well as the Azure Cloud. Not necessarily this has to be incorporated to ensure the security, but there are also a lot of you know open source you know uh, services uh, or open source tools that can be leveraged to you know or deal with this uh, security system. So hope this session fulfill your everyone's expectation. Thank you uh, for your patience listening uh, the whole session. Please uh, give a thumbs up if you like it and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet uh, have a uh, great one and stay safe